everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you are planning to do solo traveling if you are planning to go to istanbul turkey if you want to know how it is to be in istanbul turkey if you want to know some safety tips on solo traveling i am your girl subscribe watch this channel I was quite anxious considering how spontaneous it was so I booked for Elite Hotel and Elite is called Elite World Hotel having all oh, some butterflies in my tummy but oh, when I got there I actually felt good the were like the butterflies and everything were better I stayed in Turkey like in Istanbul for two days and I actually got there on a Thursday and then I left Saturday morning I'm going to be in Istanbul and you do not know anybody so you give your best attitude so I was actually yeah just sitting behind the driver and we we're having you know a chit chat yeah and I love the car they put me in I think it was a Benz Benz Mercedes Benz so I was just you know having the time of my life sitting in you know having some conversations and we we're using um, the app for translation so when I speak it translates to their language and then when he speaks it translates to English I took a picture of the ID card, the resident permit of the driver and then sent to my sister just in case if anything, yeah. Yeah, so that's like a security measure you have to consider. So when we go to the hotel, I checked in. Beautiful, the architecture is stunning, it's amazing guys it's amazing and the inside of it i entered my room i think like it's beautiful i mean for the price and i only stayed in turkey like in istanbul for two days i was at the hotel i had to order food and then when my food came i just Eight, and then I slept like I slept like a baby I hadn't had you know that much sleep next morning I woke up feeling fresh feeling fine like, like the feeling of having like you know solo travel because you do it on your own terms because just you you move at your own pace and guys that's the most amazing thing about you know solo travel you move at your own pace I got there early in the morning yeah so I woke up and then I ordered for my ride kind can see the hotel reception before but this like this driver kept talking he kept asking me questions and I don't understand your language you know he also didn't understand my and yet he really wanted to talk
kept using the app once again, Google Translation once again. So he asked me, oh, where are you from? Nah. He was like, oh, I love your complexion. I love your complexion. I'm like, thank you. Like I'm in black girl magic, black girl magic, black girl magic. Mm. Back to business. So yeah, I was in the car and we we're chatting, we we're talking and he was asking me if I know any Turkish people and I was like, yeah, I actually know some Turkish people. I know this Turkish friend of mine, she's called Shania and she's so, so nice. She's such a nice person and she's so, so amazing. Hi, shout out to Shania if you're going to watch this. Yes, yeah, so fast forward, I got to Hagia Sophia and when I got there, I was just moving around and I met this right when I stepped out of the taxi. There was this guy. Yeah, he was actually like, "Hi, coaches, how are you?" I'm like, "I'm fine." And he was like, "You know, very good English," because he told me like he's lived in America for some time. Yeah, so that's how come he speaks like fluent English. So he has a shop where they sell carpets. Yeah, so I should check it out. And the shop was actually I just sent where the taxi, you know, alighted me. So I was like, "Why not?" He showed me and we went, I think it was like um, an upstairs, it was a building, like, but then it was upstairs, the curtains were upstairs, like, showing me around. And these curtains are lovely, they are amazing, they, oh god, like they are so old and I think they are handmade, but it's expensive, you know, some were costing as much as £6,000, £5,000, like the lowest he mentioned was like, 200 pounds and i was like mm, girl sometimes a girl is broke i just came here to look at things and not to buy anything so i realized because you know the thing is i think it was actually marketing strategy because when i saw him and then he was acting nice and everything i thought mm, some nice people not knowing he actually sells stuff and he wanted to get me to his shop yes yeah, so we got there and yeah whenever you enter any shopping istanbul i don't know for any other like, um, city in turkey antalya or where Cappadocia and what about that for it's maybe I think it, it you know this is the whole of Turkey maybe their tradition they offer you tea and who doesn't love tea who doesn't love tea I do if you don't I do I love tea give me some mint tea and stuff like that and a girl loves tea so that was just right about it I had my tea and then before I left he was like Oh, are you going to buy anything? I'm like, I already told you. Like, I know they are beautiful, they are stunning, they are amazing, they are, you know, intriguing, and I would love them. Unless you want to give me for free because I got no money. So, I was just, you know, like, yeah, being nice as possible. And then later on, he was like, oh, he can pick me up at my hotel and take me out since I'm alone. He can, you know, show me around, you know, take me out tonight I was like excuse me wait hold on excuse me you just confused me mm? you want to do what come take me out no please I'm fine thank you mm, yes so that was it and then I left so I was on my way to Hagia Sophia and then I also met some different guys also selling kits and selling these lovely artifacts like what you see here yeah so Actually from Manchester in the United Kingdom we had a couple of things in common and we also we also you know did the same course so it was like oh you know my city we've done the same course and he's Nigerian like a Nigerian brother yes yeah, so I'm Ghanaian 
and he's Nigerian so instantly he was like oh a brother like an African brother yeah so we walked and then we got a tour guide explaining everything to us and that was like you know pretty pretty amazing now if you have a tour guide you get to enter you know you don't have to follow the queue hmm. <laughs> I gave some way is that me oh don't mind me yes so we got a tour guide and he was showing us around the beautiful place Hagia Sophia is so so beautiful it has been for the a lot of people and also it must be a museum for all Christian history yeah before it used to be a church and then later on it became um, a mosque Christian stuff were claimed but then some were you know maintained just for historical reasons yeah and that was it so at Hagia Sophia there was a lot to look at so from Hagia Sophia, we went to the Blue Mosque. So from Hagia Sophia, we went to the Blue Mosque. And at the Blue Mosque, um, I think I was wearing jeans. Look at my jeans. Look at what I love to wear skinny jeans. I love it because I like to wear, you know, tight jeans. And tight jeans also love to wear me. Love to wear me. So that was it. They told me I had to cover up. So they gave me this cloth, you know, to put on top of my jeans. And also, you take off your shoes when you are entering. And you know, they were having prayers on the other side. So those who were praying were at the other side. And then we, the strangers, we the um, tourists, were also on another side. Yeah, just taking pictures and looking around. So yeah, you take off your shoes as well. And guys, I was wearing heels when I went to Turkey. Wearing my heels, and I was finding it so hard to walk back. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Gotta do what he gotta do. Do do. So I was so so excited about the whole thing. Yeah. So I, yeah, I was still working with my Nigerian friend. He's I think yeah. I don't know. I don't want to mention his name yet. Yeah, but yeah, he was so nice, and you know, he didn't bother me or anything like that. You know, some guys they meet you on day one and. Um, um, can I take your number and stuff like even if you just met guys that's so so draining if you're a guy that is so so draining I mean for me for me it is quite draining so yeah we just you know took a tour we kept walking around we were all touring together he was also like a solo traveler so then I was like hmm solo travel is actually gaining some precedence because sometimes you want all your girls to come together so you go see a place but you know one of them oh i have to work oh i have uni oh i have exam oh, oh let's go this time like they're going to keep postponing and procrastination is the teeth of time you do not want any procrastination so get your bag and the moves yeah so this was me with a stranger and then the tourists that we both got together so we kept moving around and then after we passed by a bazaar which was also like Hagia Sophia and um, the Blue Mosque and the bazaar is actually at the same place so you can do all at once so after I was walking around I bought some corn at Hagia Sophia and then I was just munching on it I mean but that that corn wasn't it it wasn't it I nah I mean Ghana me when I see you know good corn I know what good corn is a briar to team I know what that is nah it wasn't it wasn't it. Mm, sis, mm, 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 man it wasn't it we finished everything and I was walking I finished and then he like we, he didn't even take my number that was amazing wherever you are congratulations you were truly a gentleman mm. so now it was just me still walking around modeling in my heels crap 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 you know how we do you know you know you know how we do you know you know so this was me just walking and then I was there's a tram there's a tram way 
like you know I just sent the mosque so I was just walking walking around and then I bumped into this you know photo studio Turkish regalia and look at me stunning queen like this moment I'm a queen this very moment I'm a queen this very moment I'm a queen let me adjust my crown and then they took me pictures you know I held the guitar yeah I held the fun like this and then took me pictures I think it, they took me uh, was it that was like 50 pound or 30 pound I don't really remember yeah but it was something around that range so after they took my email and then you know sent it to me and then also gave me a CD yeah a compact which also had the pictures on like, that was actually one of the best parts of my trip was, like I had to walk a couple of distance before I actually got a taxi back to my place and guess what while I was in this taxi I think it was an Uber I don't know yeah again this this Uber driver also you know asked me if he can pick me up tonight. I was like, what, 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 what is wrong with you all? What? I don't, I don't move like that. So, and then we're just in the car going, and then he asked me. He put, he, he's pulling out cigarette. And he's like, can he smoke? I was like, what, what? What do you mean? Can you do what? Can you? Can you what? Can you do what? 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 Can you, uh, you want to smoke in my Uber? I mean, in our, in my, like, is it my Uber or you, like you? Okay, you want to drop me off and then smoke in your car, in your Uber. Yeah, congratulations. That is what you want to do. Not with me in this car. It's never ever going to happen. So he asked, uh, initially I thought he was like, are you tripping? Are you for real? You want to smoke in this Uber that has you and me in it like me at the back you in the phone because you are the master you want to smoke long story short i said no he was like okay that's fine i was like, then i was like no so you were actually serious he was like yeah i was like okay all right so fast forward i got to my hotel and then i ordered food from the hotel again i got to my room and then i spent some time and i you know, I think you can use the pool for free. Yes, yeah, so. And then there was a spa. Oh my god. I don't have videos of that. <laughs> so I visited the spa and you know, it felt good. And then also went into the sauna. Yeah, who doesn't like sauna? I love, love, love sauna. So I was in the sauna, you know. It was so amazing. When the sweat, you know, oh, it keeps dripping. You know, you feel alive. Your body feels so good. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Took a shower, had my cook and then proceeded downstairs, walk in through the elevator, the elevator is so nice. And I went down to the pool, which was I think downstairs, like um, at the basement. I went to sit down for some time. There was actually nobody there because it was in around um, like 11 midnight. So I went to sit around, you know, sipping on my drink. I left back to my room. I watched the movies left then woke up the next morning yeah so i was supposed to be there at 10 a.m so at 9 45 i got downstairs and voila they were here to pick even jackie up your angel our angel our pretty pretty boo -boo. Okay. so they were just right there like mademoiselle at your service i was like thank you so i got in it and then it was like another like 50 minutes drive to one hour drive 
from my place, the hotel, to Istanbul New Airport. So I sat in and then I felt so fulfilled on my way, you know, relaxing. I got to the airport, I checked in, I moved around a bit, I, I got on the flight, yeah, and then back to Birmingham, UK. Yes, and it was such an amazing trip. I totally loved it. I felt excited. I've always wanted to, you know, talk about this before. I wanted to do a blog, but now that I got onto YouTube, I'm like, mm, I have to put, you know, a couple of things together, a couple of strings, a couple of editing together, and then let you all see how fantastic it was. But generally, I didn't really have any bad, you know, experience with Turkish people. Turkish people seem so nice. They're always like, you know, always wanted to help, but still be on your guard. Know you are alone. I mean, awareness is actually, you know, the best. You are aware of your surroundings, you know. Be, yeah, if you are aware, then you are, you know, most likely to avoid any problems. Yeah, don't just, you know, even if someone is trying to be nice. Then. It's not scary for me. When I came back, I was telling my mom where I went to. Like, oh, I went to Turkey. And I was like, me boy won't throw shade. That means in my local dialect, like that means my daughter is not scared of anything. I mean, what is life? You need to go on some adventures. You know, you need to see new things, and sometimes. You make plans with people and they disappoint so yeah you just have to go with the flow yeah and that was like you know some wonderful experience that i had and yeah let me know in the comment section if you've ever you know been to been on the solo travel how it went if you've ever been to istanbul tell me about it if you are planning to go solo traveling if you're you know planning to go to istanbul or antalya or cappadocia any other place in um turkey just let me know in the comment section like this video if you enjoyed it and then follow me on instagram and you know yeah so that's it I'm glad you are here to watch i'm glad that i did this you're so amazing amazing people yeah and this whole corona situation is up upon us guys so we all can't wait to do some traveling see ya thanks for watching love you